the Weber number is a dimensionless number defined as the ratio of initial force to capillary force. It is named after German academic Moritz Weber. For completeness, two other German film mechanicians were the brother Weber. The Weber number may be derived from dimensional considerations on the application of the vachet buckingham theorem, which imply that a Weber similitude should apply to capillary flow when the surface tension effects are important. The Weber number is used in the analysis of thin film flow, the formation of droplets on bubble in small size flow, and the study of heat pipes. The photograph shows a thin nap of water Along the nap, the Weber number increases as the jet is accelerated. Jet breakup occurs when the surface disturbances can no longer be restrained by the capillary resistance. Here, the nap breakup takes place when the Weber number exceeds about 2.4. This photograph shows a 4 mm thick two dimensional jet discharging into the atmosphere. The nap thickness decreases as the jet is accelerated and the Weber number increases. Large disturbances start to appear for a Weber number about 2.1 and ultimately break up take place. In open channel hydraulics, the Weber number is rarely considered. Why? First, the initial force is always much greater than the capillary force in prototype hydraulic systems, and the capillary effects are most often negligible at full scale. The photo on the short movie illustrates the Wapadam Speedway in operation in June 2018 with a unit discharge of 0.1 square meter per second. Second, the application of the Vachy Buckingham theorem implies that any dimensionless number may be replaced by a combination of itself on other dimensionless numbers. The Weber number in particular may be replaced by the Morton number, which include a definition based upon the fraud and Reynolds number. When the same fluids, for example air and water, are used in model and prototype, the Morton number is an invariant, and thus the Weber number becomes irrelevant where both the fraud and Reynolds number are considered. One may wish to learn more about the Morton number. For completeness, capillary effects may occur in small size hydraulic laboratory model, leading to potential scale effects when extrapolating the physical data to full scale. One may wish uh, to look at physical modeling and scale effect on physical modeling of distorted fraud similitude. In plain words, the use of the same fluids in physical model and in the full scale prototype impose an additional constraint upon the dimensional analysis. When the fraud on Reynolds number are retained, the Weber number becomes irrelevant. In a fraud similitude using air and water in the hydraulic laboratory on at full scale, the fraud on Morton numbers are the same in model and prototype. The difference in Reynolds number between laboratory and full scale then characterizes the potential for scale effect in terms of both viscous and capillary effect. There are a few definitions of the Weber number, shown here, with the first definition being most commonly used in environmental fluid mechanics on open channel hydraulics. Typical order of magnitude of the Weber number is environmental flow, are shown here. The concepts of dimensional analysis and dimensional number are essential to the understanding of environmental fluid mechanics on hydraulic modeling. They are discussed in a number of relevant YouTube video movie.